हे माई नेम इज हैप्पी आई हेल्प कैंडिडेट्स इन डॉट नेट इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इन एनी इंटरव्यू इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन इन एनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन देन पोस्ट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड आई विल मेक एन वीडियो ऑन इट सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक अदर क्वेश्चन आई विल शेयर द सिंपलेस्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन एक्सेप्शन हैंडलिंग इन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग इज यूज टू मैनेज द एरर्स let me show you the code also here you can see we have these four main keywords try catch throw and finally so these are the keywords through which we do exception handling in c sharp let's explore them one by one first one is try a try is a block of code inside which any error can occur Here in the code you can see we are forcefully trying to throw an error by dividing zero by zero. This will definitely throw an error. Now what will happen? An error will occur and it will go to the catch block. So that is catch block. Now what is the definition of catch? When any error will occur in try block, then it is passed to catch block to handle it. So when I say handle, what does it mean? suppose uh, a user is using your application and some error will occur then that error can be logged in the log files inside the catch block and later developer can see that log files and can fix that error so that is the purpose of the error logging or exception handling in c sharp now in a program there can be some code which you want or a developer want to execute whether any error will occur or not so for that we have this finally block the finally block is used to execute a given set of a statement whether an exception is thrown or not thrown so this console dot write line finally called will be definitely executed whether some error will occur in this try block or not and after this the last thing is throw inside the cache block you can see a throw keyword like this right now what is this throw this throw keyword will pass the extract trace to one level up now what does it mean we will discuss this in detail in an upcoming question because this is this this will be a separate topic so let me show you what we have done until now in the code also see here is the code we are trying to divide 0 by 0 will which will throw an error so this will execute and then finally will also execute so let me show you this see the first line catch called attempted to divide by 0 this is the exception message and the finally is also called now let me show you without if there is no error So suppose we will try to divide one by one. So this is possible, and this will not throw an error. So let's see the output. See, this is the output. In the statement inside the catch block has not been executed, and only the finally is executed. Because finally will execute whether error will occur or not. So this is the answer of this question. I hope you understand it all. So if you have any question about this question then please let me know in the comment section and I will try to answer it as soon as possible